One of the most important features of MaxQDA is its support of mixed methods approaches in which qualitative and quantitative data are combined. You can add different attributes to each of your documents in your project in the form of variables, much like in a statistics program. Here, for example, you can see the age and place of residence of the person interviewed. You can use this information for many analyses, which can be found in the Mixed Methods tab. To manage the document variables or create new ones, select the entry List of Document Variables in the Variables tab. Some variables, such as the date of creation or the number of coded segments, will be generated automatically by MaxQDA. You will recognize them by the red dot in the first column or by the entry System in the Source column. To add your own variable, click on this button here, enter a name, determine the variable type, and add a missing value if necessary. To enter the values of the variable for each document, you need to switch to the data editor with this button here and insert the appropriate values manually. Instead of entering the values manually, you can also import several variables and their values for all of your documents at once from an Excel spreadsheet or an SPSS file. The important thing is that the file must be structured such that the documents are listed in rows and the variables are listed in columns. Using this export function, you can easily create a correctly formatted table copy the missing columns into it, and import the file again. With MaxQDA, you can also create variables from the code system if you want to know how often a certain code has been used in the different documents. To do this, simply right-click on a code and select Transform to Document Variable. In the Data Editor, there will now be a new column with the name of the code. With this button here, you can do this for all activated codes at once. The cells contain information on how often this code occurs in each document. The value is automatically updated when other codes are added. There is also a second option for codes of which the subcodes represent a ranking or ordinal scale, for example a satisfaction rating as excellent, good, fair or poor. For this type of code, right click on the top code and select Transform into Categorical Document Variable. In the data editor, the most frequently occurring subcode is now entered as a value. If none of the subcodes occur, the cell remains empty. And if several subcodes occur equally frequently, then the phrase not defined is entered. Your quantitative and qualitative data can now be combined in many different ways. The simplest way of connecting the two is to use the variables as a selection criteria for your coded segment retrieval. To do this, select the function Activate Documents by Variables in the Mixed Methods tab. Then define the conditions under which the documents should be activated. And click Activate. Further functions include the interactive quote matrix for comparing codes, and the cross tab for comparing code frequencies. And that's it for now. We wish you all the very best with your project.